guys. So today I tried some new products that I wanted to share with you. First impressions. They're an assortment of different brands. Um, I have Elf, Stila, Dodo Lashes, Physician's Formula. So I wanted to kind of tell you what they were and my first thoughts. The first thing I tried today was the Elf Aqua Mousse Foundation. It comes in a box like this. This is in the shade Fair Light. And it said it's a hydrating gel foundation that gives a radiant looking dewy finish. It's infused with purified water, coconut oil, vitamin E, etc. It says apply to face after using a primer. Start from the center of the face, blend upward and outward, and layer for buildable coverage. I think the color matches me perfectly. So if you are fair or light, I think this is a really good option. I do not think that it is a dewy finish. I put it on and I kind of just felt like skin. It wasn't shiny. It didn't really feel luminous. So I don't necessarily know if I agree with the um, dewy finish description, but it's very nice. I did have to put on multiple layers to cover and even then it didn't cover some discoloration and, and scarring on my skin. So I would say light to medium buildable coverage. Um, you get 0.96 fluid ounces, so pretty typical of what you would normally get about one ounce. So I really like this one so far. I'm going to see how it wears during the day. Um, I prefer a little bit heavier coverage, especially when my skin is acting up like it is now. So we'll see, but it was really nice. It was very easy to apply. <clears throat> Next, I tried the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster Highlight and Contour Palette and the, the Shimmer one and the Matte Sculpting Palette. I started with the matte sculpting palette to touch. These are very, very creamy, very soft. They don't open very far, which is a little bit annoying. But the cool one I thought would be perfect for me. But applying it, it didn't really show up on my skin very well. It was almost too light. I had to layer and layer and layer. And then finally I gave up and went in with the darker one, which is very 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 warm you can kind of see it there very very warm but if you blend it up and make it look more like a bronzer than a contour I feel like it works let me try it again here so if you layer them on I feel like you can get the desired effect but it took a lot for me to build this up to actually be visible on my skin tone and I would say that I have light skin I don't think that I'm extremely fair um, but I think that mixing these actually worked out really well. I used this lower and then blending up along my um, temples. And I used this coming in further and up a little bit higher on my cheekbones. So it was very nice. And this creamy formula is nice. I haven't tried it with flash yet, so we'll see if it has a flashback. But right now in the camera, I'm not noticing any super bright patches near my eyes. So this worked really well and it's very compact. So I might take that with me when I travel over the holidays. <clears throat> and as I mentioned in my first impressions video, my shimmer palette came broken, so I didn't have a chance to try this one, but I tried the gold one today for my highlight, and it's very, very nice, very, um, it's not glittery, which I like. It's a gold sheen. I don't want glitter on my cheeks, so I like this color. This one I don't see ever using as a highlighter but I do like the gold one. It's a very soft, buttery consistency. It goes on very well. We'll see how it wears during the day. <clears throat> on my cheeks today, I am wearing the Butter Blush from Physicians Formula in Natural Glow. It smells like coconut, which I don't love coconut, but I kind of like it in cosmetics. It makes me feel all tropical and glowy. So this is the pinky gold one. I feel like <clears throat> it's, it's like a light pink with a gold undertone. So it's just nice for that like sun-kissed glow. You just want a little bit of pink and a little bit of gold. And I think that the gold blended really well with the gold highlighter. For my eyes today, for my eyes today, I am wearing the e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2 eyeshadow palette, which is one of their new palettes. I don't think I've previously tried an e.l.f. palette, and I don't know why. They're very nice. This one is all matte shadows, ranging from like a very pale peach all the way to purples and oranges and browns and black. And I feel like you can get an entire look out of this. It's very nice, especially for fall and winter. You've got your berries, your 
mauves, your browns, your blacks. So this might also be going in my travel kit over the Christmas holiday. I really like this one. <clears throat> they blended out really, really well. I was surprised. For a drugstore shadow palette, it was very, very easy to work with. I don't have any harsh lines. Very, very easy. So I'm impressed with that one. <clears throat> I also tried the Physicians Formula Matte Lacquer Gel Cream Liner. And if you watched my What's New with Physicians Formula video, this is their felt tip eyeliner pencil or pen, and you squeeze out this gel-like product and you're supposed to line your lashes. <clears throat> this one, I don't like. I had a hard time getting a thin line and if you blink, like with an eyeliner pencil and you blink, it's not a big deal. It doesn't really go anywhere. But with this one, I was applying it and blinked and then the product smudged up my lid. And since it's smudge proof, it would not come off. So this one I didn't love. That's my first impression. It was just too thick. I couldn't get a, I couldn't get a skinny line. I like the color of it, but if you're very skilled at drawing on your liner with a brush, you may like this. I just, I don't have that skill set. <clears throat> For my brows, I tried the Physicians Formula Brow Fiber and Highlighter Duo. Um, I'll have to admit, when I took the cap off, this entire piece came right out. So, that's not, I don't know, that's not great. If the product's coming apart when you first open it, that's not a great sign. But it is a nice shimmery color for under your brows and... I wasn't sure if this would stick to my natural brows. These are the fibers, and they actually, they do. They make your brows just look fuller. It's amazing, because you can't actually see them on there, but my brows are thicker and fuller and darker, so they must be there, but there is a little bit of fallout, so just dust away whatever falls down below your eyes, otherwise you'll have little, little hairs on your face. Continuing with the eyes today, I am wearing my Dodo Lashes in D138. I got these during their Black Friday sale. I think they were like four or five dollars a piece and they're very fluffy and thin and I think very natural looking. My husband always complains that my false lashes look like false lashes. These, I feel like they could pass for real lashes if you have really nice lashes. They're not, they're not too crazy, they're not long, they're not super thick, they're very natural looking and they're soft. They're not like that shiny plastic look. Um, so I like this. Their website is dodolashes.com. They come in a nice slide out plastic container to keep them safe. I do reuse my lashes, so I will be washing these and reusing them later, so I keep the case. So I'm liking these. Moving on to lips, I tried the Stila Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer. This is one of their new products that they're coming out with, I believe in 2017, if it's not out already. And it is supposed to create the perfect canvas with your water-based lip primer that plumps, smooths, and moisturizes lips. And it's supposed to kind of um, eliminate any discoloration on your lips after you apply it. So you apply it, wait for it to dry, and my lips did look more uniform. It doesn't neutralize them completely, it just gives you a nice base to apply your lip product. And I can't say if they look fuller, um, but they definitely feel softer, so that's a plus, especially in the winter. And then I topped it off with ELF's Deep Burgundy Matte Lipstick. And this is very nice, it doesn't have any strange tastes, which I can't stand when lip products have a funky flavor. Mint is okay, and vanilla is fine, but if it tastes like chemicals or perfume, mm -mm, it's a no-go for me. So, this is good. So I actually liked most of the products that I tried today. Um, again, this is just first impressions of the products, and I will probably give you updates as I go along, or if I really love something, I'm sure it'll end up in a favorites video. So, this is my first impression of these products for today. A couple more, hold on, and these. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.